where is my husband husband is not a reward if you're not compatible it's not going to last we ignore how a person makes us feel when i was single i was focused on becoming the best version of myself the best version of yourself is going to attract the best person for you hey guys and welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well i'm back in black because i couldn't last that long <laughs> so i have had this video idea for a while but i haven't known how to phrase it or what direction to take it in so i'm going to call this video how to find the one and i know you guys are probably like oh another video on how to find the one and honestly like when i was dating i stopped watching dating advice because i was tired of it because it's like okay well i don't have any prospects and so a lot of you guys may know that i am currently in a relationship with a person that i can 400 percent see myself marrying might be an engagement coming up soon uh can you see my face every time i talk about him i'm just like this but i am currently in a relationship and it is my first relationship that i've been in that i can say wow well, yeah i've actually found the one so i, I literally want to talk to you guys today about having a list should you have a list should you stick to your list how to write a list and also how to get rid of your list and this sounds like a contradiction it sounds like an oxymoron but i'm going somewhere so when i met my partner i literally was not looking for him i was happy if you guys have not checked out my how to be happy single video i was living every single thing i preached in that video i was literally happy being single my boyfriend messed up my hot girl summer snatched me up <laughs> no i'm joking yeah i wasn't looking for him if you guys don't know my story i had been single for 13 years i had like a one week relationship last year <laughs> the only reason my relationship last year lasted for one week because i didn't want to be in a relationship with this guy but it was just like oh yeah we're dating now oh and now we're in a relationship i'm like no we're not in a relationship like it was an undercover relationship nobody really knew that we were together and it didn't last very long it lasted about three weeks but before i met my current partner my only partner my forever partner the last guy that i'll ever date in my entire life before i met him i was not on this oh my god needs to find a man oh how to find the one i was not even on that i was so happy being single i knew that i had a lot of stuff that i needed to sort out just got out of a situation ship like it's so funny and i'm digressing again but i know this is god because he sent me my boyfriend when i felt the least worthy of a relationship and i'm not saying worthy as in my self-worth or my identity i was i was I was in a situation ship okay i was just playing around and i felt like god really gonna bless me with a boyfriend right now when i haven't actually been good and it just kind of shows god's grace and how he doesn't give us things because we deserve it when i was single for 13 years i always thought look god i'm being good i'm saving myself i'm not entertaining f boys i'm being so good i'm not in situationships like why have you not sent me a husband where is my husband and it's like god doesn't work like that and a husband is not a reward it isn't a reward and i'm gonna make a video on that but i think a lot of us think that having someone is god being good to us just because you haven't met him yet does not mean that god is unfair if that makes sense i love the fact that i can give advice from a person that is now in a relationship but a person that has been single for so long i don't meet a lot of people that have been single for longer than two years i was single for 13 years yes i went on dates yes i'd met different people but i've been single as in not in a committed relationship for 13 years my last relationship was not 13 years wow making myself 29 i'm only 28 i had not been a single <laughs> i had not been in a relationship for 12 years my last relationship was when i was 16 and i wouldn't even call that a relationship but i digress so like i said when i met my partner i wasn't actively looking for him i was just focused on my business focused on my career focused on where i'm going as a person so i want to talk first about why it's good to have a list sometimes when we don't have lists we don't know what we're expecting when you don't have a list you basically are open to anything so i really believe and i said this in my situationship video when you get certain and sure about what you want whether that's in life in relationship in jobs in money in family anything when you become sure of what you want everything opens up to you it's, it's crazy and i guess they call it the law of attraction i don't completely subscribe to that yeah i just don't but what i know for sure is when you are clear on what you want when it arrives your vision is more clear to be able to see it and then to receive it if you don't know what you want in life you will get anything and then you'll be confused set an intention write the vision and make it plain know what you want and wait for what you want right a list is a good idea so i had a list 
before I met my partner. I feel like I wrote a new list every year, but the roots and the cause was the same. And I'm going to read my list towards the middle of the video. So I believe that your list should consist of four things. Standard, deal breakers, preferences, and expectations. Okay? So in a minute, I'm going to tell you how much of each should we have on the list. Because it's not bad to have a preference and it's not bad to have expectations. All in moderation is what I'm saying. All in moderation. So I'm going to break down each one very quickly. So a standard is just what you will and won't tolerate, okay? A standard is not he must be black, white, Asian. That's not a standard. That's a preference, okay? And you are completely entitled to your preference. A standard is the way that you want to be treated in that relationship. What you will and you will not tolerate. When you raise a standard, it brings respect. When you don't have a standard, you'll tolerate anything and anyone will feel like they can treat you anyway, which is exactly what I was talking about in my level up video. If you do not have a standard of how you want to be treated, anyone can come in and treat you any way they like because you don't have a standard, okay? So I cannot and will not tolerate someone that is abusive. I cannot be with someone that is abusive. That is number one standard period. Secondly is your deal breakers. A deal breaker is something that you just won't ever budge on. This cannot happen for you. One of my deal breakers is that the person that I'm with has to be a Christian. They have to share the same faith as me. They have to be a Christian, period. And that's no disrespect to anyone else that is any other religion. I've tried it before. It doesn't work out because we're not equally yoked. That's a deal breaker for me. So even if I meet someone and I have everything on my list but they're not a Christian, I cannot personally go forward, period. The third one is preferences so preferences are what you're attracted to some people may not be attracted to black guys some people may not be attracted to white guys some people may not be attracted to guys that are short some people may not be attracted to guys that are skinny or overweight or some people are it's your preference you are allowed to have a preference and i know this is probably going to be controversial but you are you are allowed to have a preference that is oh i like guys that are dark or i like guys that are light i like girls that are dark i like girls that are light it's not a bad thing to have a preference and i think the whole thing about colorism is that people use that as a way to look down on somebody else this is so off topic i don't even want to go into it because it's a big can of worms but if you say uh i don't like light-skinned guys somewhere in your mind you're thinking that light-skinned guys are weak let's be honest okay and it goes same for dark-skinned girls sometimes guys think uh, dark-skinned girls are ugly okay to have a preference just don't look down on anyone because they're not your preference it's not that deep have your preference and go and last one is expectations and this one can be a tricky one because some people confuse their preferences with expectations some people have crazy expectations when it comes to finances a man needs to be earning this 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 and a lot of it is just bs you don't realize that a lot of what you want and you expect from a man has actually been influenced by the media i want a guy that earns six Figures. You can't even write six figures. No. But I think it's really important to sit down and think to yourself, what do I want? Not what does she want? Not what does a girl on Instagram have? Not what my mum thinks I should have? What does my soul need in a man? And an expectation is just the basic. A guy that has a job, a guy that has a house, maybe a guy that has a car or maybe not. So for me personally, this is just a personal expectation. I just wanted a guy that had a stable job. I dated a lot of freelancers, dated a lot of entrepreneurs, self-employed people. And because I am myself, I'm self-employed and a freelancer. This is not for me, but a lot of people don't know where their next meeting is coming from that are freelancers and they can have a job today and a job has gone tomorrow and I know the same for people that work full-time but there's not much certainty in having a career that is freelance and I guess all freelancers can attest to and it's just my expectation and if this is the thing because it's so hard to communicate what you want without people judging you but I want you guys to know that lists are personal you don't have to share your list with everybody and everyone doesn't have to agree this is your life this is the person that you have to marry this is the person you have to stay with forever so if you have an expectation if you have a preference if you have deal breakers it is your right it is your list and so my list may not be your list because what I want or what I value or what I expect or what I prefer can be completely different to you and that's fine so don't let anyone beat you up or condemn you because you expect a certain thing and I think a lot of guys do that nowadays you're entitled to want what you want I have two lists and I'm going to read the list that I wrote in 2016 and the other day when I went back to read it I realized that my current partner has mostly everything on my list. So this is my list 
and I wrote this list in 2016 and I sent it to my best friend. She told me to write a list of things that I want in a guy so that she can hold me accountable for those things. It was really helpful actually, it was really really helpful. This is my list, this is my list, this is what I wanted in a guy. I'm just going to read it. So, completely sold out to Jesus, obedient to God, intimate relationship with Jesus, prayer warrior, speaks in tongues, filled with the spirit, leader, a man not a boy, mature, in touch with his feelings, strong yet meek, humble, streetwise, passion for young people, ability to teach and preach, gentle, honest, kind, loving, not bad-minded, forgiving, sacrificial, doesn't hold grudges, warm and inviting, not rude, funny, assertive, respectful, honours my body, treats me like a queen, supportive, helps me, believes the best, keeps his word, not judgmental, not easily offended, peacemaker, happy countenance, great teeth, clear skin, good hair, tall, dark, light or white, great dresser, well endowed, skilled or teachable, <laughs> A virgin or being celibate for three years minimum. A gentleman, loves my family, loves children, self-disciplined, works out, keeps fit, reads books, intelligent, have a convo about anything, friendly, introvert, extrovert, balanced, can cook, likes to clean, not shallow, looks at the heart, family man, good credit, can relate to the struggle, ambitious, financially stable, businessman, drives, not lazy, generous and giving. That is my, <laughs> that is my entire list. <laughs> I think I was in the most pure place when I wrote this list because I was going for it. I was like, this is what I need, this is what I want. So I also wrote a list last year when I met a guy that I did not want. Okay, I met this guy that I was forcing it, okay? And I'm gonna talk about compatibility a little bit later because the reason why you meet someone and it just doesn't work. It doesn't work because you're not compatible. I'm gonna talk about that in a bit. But I wrote another list last year when I was in a relationship with a guy that did not honour me, did not honour my body, did not value celibacy, just a lot of things. And it was only dating, but I felt like I settled because I felt like I had to explain a lot of things to him. He was great in a lot of areas, but I felt like I had to explain a lot of things to him. And I didn't want to have to, I didn't want a guy that I have to explain to him how to be. I want a guy to be what I want, not because I want it, but because that's just who he is. So I wrote this other list after that relationship and I said, I want a tool handsome, God-fearing, church-going, Bible-believing man, in capital, is going to lead me in the way of Christ, who believes and practices celibacy and holiness, who will value me by not awakening love before it's time, but still lets me know and feel that, that he is utterly besotted with me, takes care of me, showers me with gifts and compliments, supports my dreams with his whole heart, and wallet generous is in touch with his sensitive side but constantly lives in his masculine side will treat me like a wife before he makes me his wife family orientated and loves my friends and family will teach me things i did not know not from head knowledge but from experience he is completely delivered from his past and has a testimony of how christ changed his life around financially stable with a high paid job and successful growing business on the side passion for young black people socially and economically woke that was opposite to everything the guy that I was dating was and I think I had to write that so I could just cut that guy off and just be clear on what I wanted because I know what I wanted was not him and so that brings me on to compatibility it is very 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 important that you are with someone that you are compatible with so compatibility looks like this okay your foot is a size eight the person however is a size six shoe okay your foot is eight the person is a six the shoe is too small you can probably fit in there yeah because so how many of us have actually worn shoes that are not our size it will hurt but we'll get away with it it'll look okay on the outside but inside the toes are like this your toes are like this this and your toes are screaming i know <laughs> i was in denial about my foot size for so long i wore shoes that were size six now i comfortably wear a size seven and a half i had been squeezing my foot into shoes for so freaking long that i just don't even know like my toes are now crunched up because <laughs> my toes are now crunched up because i was fitting my big foot into a small size and that's what a lot of people are doing in relationships right now a lot of people are dating people that they're not even compatible with a lot of people are in relationship with people that they are not compatible with. I don't care if you're a celebrity or if you're Joe Bloggs down the road. If you're not compatible, it's not going to last. And I think a lot of people overlook this in relationships because they're like, oh, he's cute or she's cute. She got a big booty and a tiny waist. She's hot. He's hot. Look at his waves. He is beautiful. He's stunning. But you guys are not compatible. You guys do not share the same goals, the same vision, the same personality 
compatibility is not always about being the same it's about being compatible okay this is a Peugeot key okay I can have a car that looks completely like this one but it's a Renault this key is not going to fit into that Renault car no matter how good the car looks and how similar it looks this key is for this car and when it comes to relationship we need to be with people that we are compatible with in every sense of the word compatibility is super important if a relationship is going to be successful for instance me and my partner we share the same faith so spiritually we are both on the same level one of us may be a little bit higher than the other but it's not this it's this there's always room for growth so it could be like this and i could have a deep encounter with god or god speaks to me and i hear something and i could go like this I'm not saying who's who because it could be me, it could be him. <laughs> Compatibility is super important if you want longevity in a relationship. And you have to be compatible in your deal breakers and you have to be compatible in your standards. You must be compatible in the things that matter the most to you. And I think the word compromise comes in when something is a deal breaker to you, something is super important, but you get with someone that is not important to them. And therefore you guys are unequally yoked and you're frustrated because you want this person to do this but because you ignored your deal breakers and you went after all of your preferences you're now stuck in a relationship that you now love that person because once you get into a relationship with someone and you love them love the glue of love is so strong that you should not awaken love before it's time you should not awaken it before it's time because you can be in a relationship with someone that you're not compatible with like there's so many things that are wrong in the relationship but because you love them love does this the moment you decide to love someone, it goes like this. So you guys could be wrong and strong in a relationship. You guys are wrong for each other. But the love, love keeps you there. The love keeps you tied to that person. For me, the reason why I didn't just claim anyone as my boyfriend, this is the first guy I've ever claimed as my partner. That I've ever been out in public with, like actual public, like places that I hang out. The first guy that's ever met my family. They do so many things because once I love you, once Brini loves you, you're not getting getting away honey <laughs> i'm about to be that crazy girl but you're not getting away from me like and that's why it's so important that we really do be careful of who we are loving and i wrote on my caption the other day a smart woman knows how to love a wise woman knows who who to love love is not for everybody i'm sorry it's not it's not for everyone that you must give your heart to you can't give your heart to everyone baby girl you can't you can't do it i say love i mean in love it's not everyone that you need to be in love with choose wisely not everyone is deserving of your love and compatibility is very very important so back to the list okay like i said deal breakers and standards non-negotiable preferences can be changed expectations can be changed it's not that deep what a lot of people tend to do is put their expectations and their preferences at the top of their list and this is why i'm saying that we should throw away our list and not throw away in the sense that you're thinking i'm talking about priorities prioritizing the things on your list keep the main thing the main thing and the main thing that you need to look for in a guy and in finding the one you need a man that loves you i did not know how important this thing was until i found it in my partner you just need a man that loves you and once you prioritize that on your list everything else will fall into place i do not have my list and go out looking oh does he fit 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 i for a season let the list sit in my heart i know what i wanted on an internal level i have realized that the most important thing on my list in a person in finding the one is a person that loves you and it's so underrated and it sounds so simple and it sounds so basic but once you lead with that everything else will fall into place i did not go out looking for my man like i was going shopping in a grocery store when he came to me my only thing at that time was how loving is this person how is this person treating me and a lot of us we want a guy that looks a certain way we want a guy that has things and how i knew that my partner was the one for me was he saw me how god sees me and you won't understand that unless you have a relationship with god without a shadow of doubt i know god loves me and i know the way he sees me and it's not the way that other sees me it's internal god knows every single thing about me and he still chooses to love me and i saw that reflected in my partner when he would talk to me it was literally spiritual when he would talk to me and when he would describe me and tell me the things that he likes about me like it was not physical at all it was like he saw me the way that god saw me 
and I can't explain it but it was one particular moment it was a vulnerable moment for me because I let down my guards and I was super vulnerable and I said to him like look like I'm a bit crazy like I've done a lot of healing but I'm a bit crazy still I still have emotional wounds I said you can go if you want to go and he's just like we all got scars Brini well he called me my full name we've all got scars Debrina it was just it was at that moment like I knew within about three weeks of meeting or reconnecting because I met him two years ago reconnecting with my partner that he was the one because he spoke to me on a level that I've never been spoken to before he saw me on a level that I've never been seen before it's actually so supernatural because I actually can't explain it my partner was intentional from the very beginning he knew what he wanted and he communicated to me how he wanted to go about doing things like courting and this guy made me feel so safe to be myself to express myself to open up and I always say this about him and I'm talking about him like he extends his hands first and I only have to reach back a lot of times in relationship the girl's always extending her hand being vulnerable opening her heart opening it and saying will you love me back and then the guy either takes advantage of that or he says no and then we're left open like this well he, my partner always extends his hand and said this is me he's so transparent and so honest with his feelings and expressing his feelings to me at one point i was like this is too much like i thought i was a transparent open person but you on the next level and so because he was so transparent it made me want to be transparent too it made me want to open up as well so from week two or week three like he was a safe space and he is still a safe space for me whenever we're together we just look into each other's eyes i never thought that i could actually have this with someone but we look into each other's eyes and we're just like i love you is not enough like saying the words i love you is not enough like when you know and experience a love so deep when you experience a love so deep like like everything else is irrelevant and i guess sierra's prayer is this god give me a man that loves me your prayer should be this give me a man that loves me when a man loves you everything else is irrelevant and like i said the list is a factor it's important but what you need to do is you need to eat that list and you need to one become everything that you are looking for when i was single i was focused on becoming the best version of myself so i was not looking for that in anybody else i found it in myself and two you need to internalize that list and this is what jesus said all of the ten commandments you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do this. love god God and love others and love is so powerful it's such a powerful force girls like if you were like me and you've never been loved the way that you believe you deserve to be loved or you've never been loved or experienced love when love hits you you're gonna be like oh my god is this what i've been missing out on but if you have a relationship with god like you'll be surprised to find someone that loves like him but that feeling of love should feel familiar it's the same love that god gives what is love when we talk about love we're talking about god when we talk about god we're talking about love love and god is inseparable my next video is going to be on what is love and why you've never experienced it and i'm going to go more into depth and this is another thing people will try and say to you oh you're being extra your list is unrealistic i knew what i wanted and i knew what my soul wanted and that's why i wrote the list whether someone was to match up to that or not i did not know i actually feel like i have my own personal russell wilson he is everything that i want not anybody else because at the end of the day it's irrelevant my partner is everything that i want i know that my partner is like one in a million even the intricacies of his personality are what i want and what i need and like our sense of humor we can just be at his place and we're like fighting no i mean fighting i mean like we will be fighting <laughs> and then kissing the next moment we just have fun and i need someone that is fun because my life is stressful <laughs> no i'm joking i like having fun i'm very playful even the intricacies of his personality are so perfectly fitted to mine knowing what you want is beautiful but you have to internalize that i think having a list and having a standard of how you want to feel how you want other people to make you feel how you want to be treated that's not just for relationships that's also for friendship these are the kind of people that i want in my life people that don't hold grudges people that are not rude people that are gentle and the friendships that don't make me feel at ease the friendships that i don't feel love i've got rid of them and i only want people in my life that love me and that i love too ultimately it's love when i watch sierra's interviews every time someone asks her what's your prayer she always laughed and i know that laugh is i didn't say a prayer she even said this in an interview she was content being a mum to baby future she didn't even think that she was going to find this person but god gives us the desires of our heart god knows what you want god knows what you need and he's going to send it to you at the right time and it's probably going to be a time that you're not expecting it so if you're like uptight where's the one where's the one i guarantee you you're going to find someone but it's not going to be the one when you can actually ease off and everyone always has told me this really when you least expect it the guy is going to come into your life and big facts 
that is exactly what happened i was ready and i was prepared for him but i did not expect him to come at a time that he came and i think that's just how god works god will give you what you want but you must know what you want and stop settling if you're in a relationship with someone that you're not compatible with if you're having to guess if this person is the one then they're not the one and that's what i will say if you have to ask people what do you think do you think he's the one i used to be like that i used to go and watch videos like how would you know if he's the one the reason why you don't know if he's the one is because he's not the one when you meet the one there's a peace and like sierra said when it's right it's light when it's right it's light the fact that your relationship is feeling heavy it's feeling complicated is a sign he's not the one i met a guy at the beginning of the year and he had most of the things on my list but i didn't have peace there were certain things that he would do that i couldn't mess with and i was like but uh but maybe it's me and i always say oh but maybe it's me maybe i'm too sensitive and i thank god for my mentor who was just like Brini, you're making excuses for him you're making excuses because he used to hurt my feelings a lot and he used to say things that i felt like had venom in them he's like oh i'm joking i'm joking you're not. i was like you're not joking because your words are hurting me every time you make a joke or a sarcastic remark they hurt me so i didn't have peace about it and i thank god for my mentor because she was just like Brini, you're making excuses let him go when you find a one there's absolutely no question no doubts in your heart like i could get married tomorrow like i will tell my boyfriend like let's get married like let's get married quickly like you know but obviously i want a good wedding and stuff like that and i want like us to be able to have a house and stuff like that but i'm ready to get married to my boyfriend it's only a matter of time i never thought i'd be his person i never thought at the beginning of the year i'll be sitting here in the same car saying this what i'm saying but when you find the right person you will know and it'll feel peaceful it'll be like it feel like you just arrived home i've been on a desert journey and now i'm home and my boyfriend feels like home to me and i'm sorry if this sounds mushy i'm not even a mushy person but my boyfriend i don't really love him but i'm in love with him i'm obsessed with him and it's not for the reasons why you would think i would be it's not because he's beautiful even though he is and he's hot and he is but like when we got talking it was so different like i kept saying to him you're so different you're different and he's like well i'm just me like what do you mean when you're so and the thing is when you're so tired of dealing with guys that are just not it when the right guy comes along it's just like oh my god thank god thank thank god like honestly thank god so how to find the one i would say become the one focus on yourself know exactly in your heart what you want and don't be afraid to wait for it and when people say wait for him hold on stuff like that i definitely believe that a man should pursue a woman so i don't think women should go looking for men i do think you should put yourself in positions where you can find someone be open be feminine be the best version of yourself the best version of yourself is going to attract the best person Oof. the best version of yourself is going to attract the best person for you my partner is good for me i'm gonna talk more about him and our relationship in future videos but even though i don't want to be that person i think it's important for me to talk about my relationship because i'm not just someone that sits on the internet and talks and talks and talks and 500 years later they're still single if my advice does not work for me i should not even be giving it to you so i hope you guys don't mind me talking about my partner and talking about our relationship and things that i'm learning and things that i've learned and stuff like that I hope you guys don't mind and i will continue to give you the best content that i possibly can because i love you guys and i want you guys to all find love i want you guys all to be in love i want you guys to experience what love is and it's so beautiful sometimes i pinch myself because i'm like this can't be real this feeling this feeling cannot be be real when i was in venice with my boyfriend i was pinching myself like this is so perfect perfect because we're in venice but perfect because i'm with him so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys understood what i'm trying to say your whole list should whittle down to i want a guy that loves me and it was only until i got to a point where i said to myself god forget what he looks like forget all this kind of stuff forget everything give me a guy that loves me give me a man that loves me the way that you love me period and god gave me that it's funny because the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and all these things shall be added unto you and the way that works in relationships is seek the main thing seek a guy that loves you and everything else will be added onto you the fact that he's got a good job the fact that he's good looking the fact that he loves your family the fact that he wants kids everything else that you're looking for will be added onto it but seek a man that loves you because at the end of the day the only thing that will stand when everything is gone is does this man love you and my next video i'm going to explain to you what exactly love means so i hope you guys enjoy this video please like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys